I wanted to cover the development of the Caribbean because it will play a major role in the creation of the Atlantic trade system, which was fueled by African slavery. Although Spain was the first to colonize the Caribbean, France, the Netherlands, and England all established colonies in the region. Essentially, the Spanish gained control of the larger islands, while the other European nations settled for the smaller islands. In addition to the danger of warfare with the indigenous peoples, Europeans had to worry about conflicts with each other as well. A number of islands changed hands throughout the 1800s, and ships traveling to and from the region were targets, especially Spanish ships trading gold and silver. In addition to the warfare, Caribbean inhabitants had to worry about massive windstorms called hurricanes. Almost every year, one or two islands suffered significant damage from these incredible storms. Eventually, Caribbean settlers learned to make structures out of stronger materials that could withstand some of the powerful weather. But this begs the question, why would Europeans bother to try to take these islands when there were significant problems with keeping and building on them? The answer was profit, and in this case, profit meant sugar. Europeans had gained a taste for sugar when it was being shipped back from the Mediterranean Atlantic, and their appetite was not going away anytime soon. Colonists in the Caribbean quickly realized that the soil and climate in the region was ideal for cultivating sugarcane. Sugar plantations soon became a staple of the Caribbean economy, which meant that there was a greater need for workers, which in turn led to huge numbers of slaves arriving over the next 200 years.